handlebars. We are here at Road America for Moto America. I'm your host, MJ Ball. I'm here with an amazing female racer, Patricia Fernandez. How are you today? Doing good. I'm wishing the weather was a little bit warmer, but it's not bad. It seems like the sun wants to come out when the races are over. Yeah, that's kind of how it goes, isn't it? Yeah. So actually, you are one of the most impressive female racers I've ever heard of in my life. And I've been in this for 20 years-ish. So, I mean, please tell us about who you are. Um, so I've been racing professionally in the U.S. since about 2012. I started, um, did really well here with AMA, and then it turned into Moto America, do, competing on the 600s, Super Stock, Super Sport. Um, about four years ago, I started going overseas, uh, competing in what they call proper road racing, where you guys see it on TV, where they literally close down public roads and mm. trees and hedges and poles and all that and that's stuff. The one where you're like skirting walls and like mailboxes. Yeah, and yeah, stuff all like that, that yeah. stuff. Yeah, oh I, I knew I, I was hitting my mark when I came in, and I had grass off all my knee pucks wow. and stuff. <laughs> So it was pretty cool, a different level of crazy. Um, so how long was the journey from starting track days to racing? For me, it was a lot shorter than most other people. You see a lot of pro racers and they start at age three, four, or five, you know, that's when they get into it. They have a family member or someone. I always liked bikes. I thought they were cool. My parents absolutely forbid it. <laughs> so I had to move out of the house and purchase my own. It was like this little banana seat 500, like the only thing I could afford, but I thought it was the coolest thing in the whole world. And then uh, April 10, 2010 was my first track day. As all, I saved up all winter, enough money to go, and I was just so addicted from day one. I had a little single cab pickup and I would sleep in my pickup truck at night and just load my own bike and eat peanut butter and jelly. I was so broke. Oh, <laughs> I remember yeah. one time I had to siphon gas out of my truck into my motorcycle <laughs> to finish the day, but it was completely worth it. And then, uh, so I started in 2010, 2011, I was an amateur club race, won, won a bunch of championships. 2012, wow. I went expert and then I competed in the last three pro rounds of the year for the championship and I just, I can't explain it. If you would have asked me five, ten years ago if any of this would have happened, there's no chance. But I just did it and I liked it and I had fun and I keep getting better and um, the better I do, I meet some pretty amazing people. I have some pretty amazing coaches and you know sponsors and stuff that I was just grateful that anyone could help me. Uh, just a big thank you, Magic Bullet Advanced Fuel Treatment is the team that I race for overseas and obviously all my sponsors here in America, Motul USA, Speedy Leathers, or Rye Helmets, uh, Ride Like a Girl Racing, all these uh, people are very supportive of what I do and help me out. JP43, Jason Pridmore, yes. Star School amazing coach. He's taken me to a level that I never thought I would be at. So all those people are amazing and they've supported me through the years and support me no matter where I go in the world or what kind of racing I do. And I'm just thankful for that. Ah, and Pirelli tires. Crap. I knew I was going to forget one. Sure. Racer brain. Racer brain. Yeah, we'll just blame it on that. But no, um, seriously, Patricia, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day. We're definitely going to follow your career. We invite everyone else to as well and come down to Moto America. Come down to Road America next time and have a great time. Thanks so much, everyone. This has been Behind the Handlebars.